Hi, I'm Sabine Howard. I'm an expert in robotics, and I'm here to talk to you about machine learning. Machine learning is a field of technology that allows machines to learn from data and self-improve. Machine learning has really been around for a long time, but it's now becoming increasingly useful and relevant for three reasons. First, there's more data than ever before. Second, computers are more powerful than they used to be. And third, we have better machine learning algorithms. As a result, machine learning is already present all around us. It's used to recommend purchases on the internet or to detect fraud on your credit card. And there's really nothing magical about this. Let me give you some examples of how machine learning works. Let's say you want to design a machine learning algorithm that makes movie recommendations for your Friday night based on your preferences. All the users on the platform give thumbs up to movies they like. So the algorithm knows that Bob likes The Lion King and Casablanca, but not, I don't know, Rogue One. Sarah likes The Lion King, Casablanca, and Billy Elliot. And maybe Larry, on the other hand, hates Casablanca, but loves Rogue One. Now let's say that you give a thumbs up to Casablanca. What the machine learning algorithm does is calculate how similar your preferences are to those of the other users in the database. In this case, your preference for Casablanca will make you closer to Sarah and Bob than to Larry. So because they like them, the algorithm would then propose The Lion King or Billy Elliot for your movie night. This algorithm is called Nearest Neighbor because you're using information about your nearest neighbors, in this case Sarah and Bob, to make a prediction about your preferences. This is an example of supervised learning. We train the machine learning algorithm based on examples given by users. But sometimes, we might not have easy access to carefully labeled data. That's where unsupervised learning comes in. In this type of machine learning, learning happens without labels. The system looks for similarities in data points and arranges them into groups. In 2012, Google created a so-called artificial neural network inspired by the brain and fed it millions of images from the internet. By processing these one after the other, it learned the concept of a cat, even though no one had ever told it to look for cats. The system was able to label images of cats it had never seen with about 75% accuracy. In other words, it learned without a teacher. Today, machine learning systems can learn to pick out a variety of objects from pictures. In one 2015 image recognition trial, machine learning systems proved to be better at this than humans, the first time this has ever happened. But understanding context, for example, what the objects in the image are doing, is still challenging. So you can see, there are different ways machines can learn, and there's great potential for real-world applications. There's also a number of challenges ahead. How can algorithms be transparent and fair? And how can we use machine learning to properly benefit society, in healthcare, in transport, or elsewhere?